I wanted to do this video to kind of talk about how to lose weight using Beat Saber. And I guess I'm sharing this for, for a specific audience. So I don't know if you're like me, but COVID had put me in my house for a long time. I'm still not completely back at work as far as, you know, going to work every day. And because of that, I'm walking a lot less, um, or I walked a lot less in 2020. And what ended up happening is I gained about, I don't know, 35, almost 40 pounds. And it was extremely depressing for me at the end of 2020 to see that weight gain and also have complications that came from other health issues that cropped up as a result of me just not going to the gym or not taking care of myself like I used to. So I said, how can I do this at home even though like, I'm at risk for COVID and I don't want to take a chance. Um, and maybe if I can do something at home, maybe that'll be my way of also battling um, my hormonal issues because I'm over 50. And as you know, when you, when you get over 50, very often women start having interesting issues with stomach bloat and things like that, where their bodies are just not doing what they want them to do. So I want to tell you what I did using Beat Saber, where I literally lost almost 25 pounds. Um, and so I'm not quite where I was pre-COVID. I probably have about 15 pounds more to lose to get back to that pre-COVID state. But I definitely am back into like the jeans I wore um, before I got really heavy. And so... I am so happy that today I actually wore a pair of pants that I was that I used to wear before COVID. They were a little tight, but I got them on and I'm really excited about that. So let me tell you like a few things to think about. So first of all, remember that I'm over 50 and that my biggest problems were that I wanted to lose weight and I wanted to control bloat. Um, and I wanted to do it from home while I was still being vaccinated and, and while the uh, pandemic was like still still questionable, like who you can associate with and where. So with those goals in mind, Beat Saber was a perfect choice because I could do it in my headset. I have the Quest 2, by the way, and I could do it at home and I didn't need to change computers or anything. So that's what I really love about the Quest. It's an all in one and I just have to spend that money one time and it gives me a whole lot of return on investment. So I like when I spend money like that. Beat Saber also, speaking of spending money, it is one of the higher cost apps in the store for Quest, but it is one of those one-time purchases that gives you a lot over time. And you can always add music for, you know, if you want to spend an extra $4.99, $5.99 for music, but for the most part, it's a one-time purchase. Whereas other fitness apps that I see in Quest very often are starting to ask for monthly subscriptions. And so, no, I don't want to do that. And the reason I want to do that is because I'll be going back to the gym soon enough and I spend enough money on my gym uh, to not want to spend additional money in a headset. So that just wasn't an option for me to start paying monthly for anything. So, but here's the thing about Beat Saber is you have, you can choose multiple ways of using it so that it can be a multi-service fitness app. And let me explain what I mean. So when you're new, one thing that comes to mind, first of all, is the levels. So when you're new to Beat Saber, you might start out with an easy level, but you should try to like as soon as easy really gets easy and as soon as possible try to move to normal um, because i don't think you get any fitness benefit unless you get to at least normal and then the more the higher the level the actually the more fitness benefit you get because there's more movement going on um and so try and move up the ladder so to speak in beat saver and i did this because I'm one of those people that's very easily bored. So I would, you know, tackle a song until I got it and then I'd move on to another song. And so I had a variety of songs and I might have added like three or four albums, music, mu music sets 
just because I, I wanted diversity. Um, and so it's good to keep your music diverse enough that you don't get bored and also stay on the level you're most comfortable with until you're ready to move. And the reason I say that is because you want to train your brain for consistency. And I think anything, not just weight loss, requires a level of consistency to be effective. And so I wanted to do something every day or every other day. So in the beginning, I had set my goal at 15 minutes of Beat Saver a day, which when you're brand new to this might actually be hard, especially if you spent a year on your, on your, in your office in COVID, right? So depending on how uh, active you are, 15 minutes can be hard. But then I moved from 15 to 30 and from 30 to 45, and now I can do just about an hour. And I actually do at least 45 minutes, three days a week, and with an extra day or two at an hour. And so I built up that in the past six months with the last three months being the most active. And I have to give credit to my dear friend, David, who really motivated me to kind of do this, you know, harder. Um, being that, you know, he and I started dating, it was important for us to, for me to feel confident about the way I looked. So it kind of gave me extra motivation. On the point of motivation, another thing to think about is getting friends that will play with you in multiplayer. So playing by yourself is great, but you can get kind of lazy because nobody's seeing you, right? So you could kind of like move into a very passive movement type of thing. But when you're in a multiplayer game, you're, com you're competing, which means you're gonna push yourself to do the best. And doing the best in Beat Saver means really hitting those beats hard. It means carrying through with the strike that you do with your saber, not just stopping at the, at the, at the slice, but actually carrying all the way through, just like you do in tennis. So those kind of um, methods that actually use more energy, you're more likely to do in a multiplayer scenario where you're competing than you would do by yourself. So find a couple of friends, not just one, because believe you, you're gonna be dedicated to losing weight. Doesn't mean all your friends are gonna be dedicated to losing weight. So get a few friends. That way if one's busy, you can call the other one and you'll always have a friend that can join you in Beat Saber and help you uh, compete uh, against yourself or against them. So that's another thing I'd like to think about. Now, another thing I wanna talk about when it comes to movement if you go online and you look for how to get the high scores in Beat Saber, you're going to get things like slicing at a certain angle, um, carrying through, slicing hard, um, uh, not, not, not slicing. If you, if you don't think you're going to get the arrow right, still slice because you get more points for a negative slice than you do get for a miss, things like that. But when you're trying to lose weight, I want to add two more important things. Because Beat Saver is primarily your arms um, and your head, um, you need to include your feet. Uh, a great opportunity to include your feet in Beat Saver is where, um, where you have to dodge walls. So literally, when, it, when a wall comes at you, don't just tilt your head because you only need to move your headset. Actually move your body. If you can jump over to the left when the wall is on the right or jump over to the right when the wall is on the left, that's what you should do. Um, try to make it a point to move your body against those walls, against those bricks. And then let's say there aren't any walls or any bricks, try to march to the beat. So actually what happens here, and this is something I, I really enjoy doing, is I started combining my Apple Watch rings with my Beat Saver games. In other words, my Apple Watch had me planned for 10,000 steps a day uh, towards the end. Okay, so I started out with like 2,000 steps, then I went up to 5,000, then I went to 7,000. I'm currently at 10,000. I must say that 10,000 steps a day really does reduce bloat. It's something about the walking that enables your, uh, if you have any stomach bloating, it kind of reduces it like and fast. So if you can get to X amount of steps per day, it definitely will help you with your bloat. So in Beat Saber, I'm not actually walking, I'm playing, right? But I actually will march in place with my Apple Watch on so that the Beat Saber game is also contributing to my daily steps. And 
uh, 15 minutes of beat for well, 45 minutes of beat saver it has been for me like close to 4,000 steps so it depends on how often you're stepping if so there's certain songs that I can step to more than others like I can step to uh, reason for living uh, don't ya um, what's another one um, be there for you. There's a few songs, maybe I'll put them in the description, that are easy to march to. And I'm, when I say march, I don't mean like military. I mean like march into the beat, you know, kind of get your little groove on while you're playing the game. And you'd be surprised when you finish your, your Beat Saber goal, you take off your headset, you look at your watch and you're like, damn, look how many thousands of steps I did while playing Beat Saber. Another great thing to combine with Beat Saber is the Move app. So in Oculus Quest, you have a Move app, and that's where you can actually set your goals in the Quest, in addition to the goals that you set for your watch. And if you don't have an Apple Watch, don't worry. You don't need it. There are so many apps on the market that count steps. Um, you can use them, or um, you, can, um, you can actually buy a pedometer that, that counts steps. I think they're like $3 in Walmarts or something. But you can buy them and you just pin them onto your waist and off you go. So you don't really need to spend a lot of money. But I actually do love the Apple Watch because it gives me rewards. And rewards are important when you're trying to keep consistency. So give yourself rewards too. Now, this brings me to food. You're probably wondering, okay, you lost that weight. Did What kind of diet did you have? So I had no diet. Um, I live a, what's called a clean eating uh, methodology. I eat clean, and if you wanna know how to eat clean, then I suggest um, you follow the YouTube channel I'm gonna put in the description. Um, this is a woman that is aw awesome at sharing tips on eating clean. I'll actually point you in the description to her video about what is clean eating. It, in essence, I really don't have anything I can't eat except I try to reduce processed foods to as close to zero as I can. And I try to remember to not buy white sugar and white bread. So I don't buy them. Does that mean I don't use them when I go out to a restaurant? No, it just means I don't bring them into my house, which means that when I drink coffee and tea at home or when I eat desserts, they're not loaded with white sugar and I'm not using white bread. Um, minimal carbs, I would say, because carbs actually at my age will contribute to like the love handles. So. Um, but but there's nothing I can't eat. Uh, as long as I, I try to avoid processed foods, I'm doing great. Um, I tend to try to have at least 50% of my meals is vegetables um, in some way, you know, something. And, and I as I've gotten older, I've noticed that roasted vegetables or lightly sauteed vegetables in butter or olive oil is the best thing for me. No, I don't avoid fats either, I, but I don't eat margarine, right? Because that's not, that's not a real food, right? So yes, I'll use butter, I'll use olive oil. Olive oil, avocado oil, these are all healthy oils. Avocados are one of my favorite snacks now. I'll just take an avocado, cut it in half, salt, a little olive oil, a little, uh, a little vinegar sometimes. And I just love that. Um, I do keep salt down as well. I try not to buy foods that are loaded with sodium. Um, and I add it when I cook, but I don't add too much. So that's about it when it comes to food. I suggest you follow the wonderful young lady I'm gonna put in the description um, about clean eating because you don't need to get into these fad diets because they're not, they're not sustainable, right? You can do them for X amount of time, but you'll fall off the wagon. So try to get something where you're changing your style of eating and you'll be able to stick with that. So I just wanted to share this with you today and let you know that it is really possible to lose a great deal of weight uh, by being consistently by being consistent in playing Beat Saver. And in that, I say play it 15 to 45 minutes a day, move your feet whenever you can, dance, enjoy that music, and then eat smart, you know, don't kill yourself, eat smart, and be consistent. And you'll lose the weight too. I'll keep you posted as to how I'm doing, you keep me posted to how you're doing too. Thank you.